Welcome again. Right now we're at Acts chapter 20, verses 7 through 12. Eutychus is raised from the dead in Asia. On the first day of the week, when the disciples were gathered together to break bread, Paul talked with them, intending to depart on the next day, and continued his speech until midnight. So here in this passage, it was Sunday, the disciples gathered together to break bread. And Paul basically made a speech, okay? You might call it a sermon. Now this was a Sunday, and I know that a lot of Sunday attending church folk would like the fact that they met on Sunday here. But don't forget they met, it says, every day, okay? It says they met every day, okay? And not only did they meet every day, but they always observed Shabbat, and they always went to the synagogue on Shabbat. How many churches today, I know there might be a few out there, but how many churches today you go there on a Sunday and you break bread and you stay there and you listen to the pastor preach or the priest preach until midnight? That's a long sermon and that's a long-winded preacher. Verse 8, there were many lights in the upper room where we gathered together. Here it says the TR, the Textus Receptus Manuscripts, reads they instead of we. A certain man named Eutychus sat in the window, weighed down with a deep sleep. Well, I suppose, you know, you go on a Sunday and who knows, this could have begun in the morning. You know, uh, this could have been a Sunday morning and the guy just kept on speaking until midnight, okay? I mean, if that happened in your church, how many people would be sleeping by the time the midnight bell rings? As Paul spoke still longer, being weighed down by his sleep, he fell down from the third floor and was taken up dead. Eutychus wasn't in a very good position. I mean, he must have been just hanging on the edge of the window. So when he, uh, I mean, and there wasn't any uh, glass in the window at that time. He must have been just sit sitting on the edge of the window on the third floor. I mean, not very safe to begin with, you know, especially under the speech of a very long-winded preacher and fell asleep and, oops, I just fell out the window. Verse 10, Paul went down and fell upon him and embraced him, saying, don't be troubled, for his life is in him. When he had gone up and had broken bread and eaten, and had talked with them a long while, even until break of day, he departed. They brought the boy in alive and were greatly comforted. So notice here in verse 9, it says that the boy actually died. He was taken up dead. He was pronounced dead, okay? And in verse 12, he was alive. Paul ran down and raised him from the dead. I'm telling you, preacher, if, if you're preaching... And your sermon is so long-winded you last until midnight and somebody falls asleep and dies because of it. You better be running down to that person and raising them from the dead as well. And as always, seek God with all your heart and you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.